Hello everyone. Um, after residency, everybody has this question: What next? Should I do a private practice or should I go into fellowship? I would just tell uh, my story that might help uh, some of you to take a decision. I passed out uh, uh, from a very basic uh, uh, residency program. After that, I chose to do a comprehensive ophthalmology fellowship. During the fellowship, uh, uh, I saw different spectrum of uh, pediatric ophthalmology, strabismus, as well as uh, neuro ophthalmology. Uh, during the initial part of the fellowship, only uh, I decided um, that I will pursue pediatric ophthalmology, strabismus, and uh, neuro ophthalmology as my career option. Additionally, during um, uh, medicine, I always wanted to be a pediatrician, which I couldn't, so I landed up in uh, ophthalmology. After doing the initial part of comprehensive ophthalmology, uh, I decided I will take up uh, this field. It really uh, prompted me to take this uh, field and uh, I continued. Overall, it was not accidental completely, but uh, I had an exposure to the broad spectrum of pediatric ophthalmology and uh, combination of ophthalmology and pediatrician, uh, pediatric ophthalmology was the choice for me. Okay, what is the success story? Uh, I would say there are uh, three important things uh, in anyone's uh, success. Number one, patience. Number two, perseverance. And three is uh, focus. In my field, uh, it's a pediatric ophthalmology. You have to uh, like children. You, you should like uh, working with uh, uh, children. Over a period of time, when you have this uh, focus area, then as I am in uh, L.U. Prasada Institute, uh, this institute uh, pushes everyone to achieve uh, bigger things and you get uh, involved uh, yourself in uh, education, research and other collaboration. Down the line, uh, you meet uh, many of your uh, professional friends and um, uh, your network grows both nationally as well as uh, internationally. Uh, I had a, a fortune of involving myself uh, with the World Society of Pediatric Ophthalmology with which uh, you educate through uh, meetings and uh, research collaborations and uh, these things uh, has a cascading effect and uh, you keep growing in this field uh, on year on year basis and uh, you can achieve whatever you want. I would just say that one mantra for success is have the focus, have the goal in your life, what you want to achieve. If that is clear, you can achieve whatever you want. I would say personally, I have uh, three things which keeps me going on and on. Number one and the topmost thing is uh, the patient care the children you take care and the smile uh, what you see in patients uh, face and of course the parents face once you treat them that's the most important thing which keeps you going on and on second thing is uh, you are uh, we are able to uh, contribute to you know education in terms of training fellows of the future generation and also residency program when you teach someone the skills and uh, the, when they grow further you you you're always very very proud about these uh, situations that's the second part and the third part is the the research through research you contribute to the the patient care and other aspect of uh, care and advocacy of child's eye health to others either nationally or internationally. So I would say the patient care, the education you give to others and the contribution you give in research keeps you go on and on.
challenges uh, will be there in uh, any kind of uh, profession or job you take in the initial part um, i had the big uh, challenge uh, after residency um, doing another fellowship that to 3 years everyone raises their uh, eyebrows 3 years i go, go to go into fellowship rather than jumping into prior practice and uh, you know earn money because during fellowship you are not earning uh, so much and uh, your friends and uh, some of the family members uh, everyone can uh, question you uh, what's happening uh, are you not going into practice this was the initial part of the uh, challenge i would say uh, but uh, my family my parents were uh, very very uh, supportive uh, and uh, i i could uh, uh, complete the fellowship uh, and in retrospect that was a blessing in uh, disguise for me spending that uh, three additional years after residency was a f- very good uh, foundation for uh, my career uh, in the future once i completed uh, I-, i did not have much uh, exposure to uh, research i would say uh, that was uh, challenging in the initial part and then uh, later i could uh, take uh, people's help and uh, other friends help and uh, i could uh, overcome that initial inertia of uh, writing papers that became uh, better and better over a period of time uh, i just have one piece of advice to all of you who would like to choose a career path i would just uh, uh, say that ask yourself where you want to be after 5 year 10 years in which field you want to be if you want to make a difference in a child and um, you want to continuously make a difference in child because vision is the most important thing and uh, you need to focus and you need to have patience and you need to have goals how to make your life more impactful with these things in mind you can achieve anything and if you like children if you like to work with children i think pediatric ophthalmology strabismus is a choice for you people thank you so much uh, everyone all the very best to all of you mm-hmm.